Howdy folks, nothing overly exciting tonight. I'm just doing a little project. I'm building uh, some jumper uh, test leads. These are the uh, little J, J type clip and you can pick these up really cheap online. I'll probably link to a set down below there. I've been wanting a set of these for a while and you can get them, you know, you can get a whole set with all the colors. And then I also picked up some nice high flex silicone wire here. I think there's 30 feet of each color roughly. Uh, for around 15 bucks and it is the nice high flex silicone stuff. I've already redone all my uh, alligator clips. Anyone who's purchased these alligator clips online, you know, they're not bad clips but they come with the, uh, it's not really, it's not high flex wire, it's just standard old PVC jacketed wire and what usually fails on them is the way they crimp them to the, uh, to the little alligator clip. What they do is they just, they have a stripped they strip off the wire end and they just fold it under and then it's uh, crimped into the alligator clip. Uh, not soldered or anything generally. And you can go in there and tag them with solder which, which will work. Uh, what I find though is after I do that they generally crack shortly after uh, because the solder migrates up the wire. There's not enough strain relief. Uh, plus you melt the uh, jacketing a little bit when you do that so you get movement in there and it eventually fatigue cracks and snaps off the end of the clip so what I did with all mine is I replaced all the crappy wire with this nice silicone stuff and soldered it in and put uh, heat shrink over the end of each one uh, for some stress relief but anyways I just thought I'd show real quick how I make these things um, in case anyone's interested if you want to make them yourself it's hard to find these uh, with the silicone wire. Usually you can just get the pins separately, little J-hooks. But these are great for testing, you know, jumping stuff on circuit boards and whatnot. They've got a nice small little clip on the end, probably not focusing there. But they're really handy. I've always wanted a set of these. So I'm just going to make them these uh, leads about 17 inches long, just because it's easy to measure out on the cutting mat here. So I'll go under to there, and I'll make them all the same length. And you know, you, you could make one with a J clip on one end and an alligator on the other if you wanted. You could make them with a banana on the other. You know, whatever whatever your application is. And these are really easy to make. You just pop the uh, ends of these little J clips off, and you fire the wire through. Do that on both ends here. And then we'll just strip a little bit off the end. You don't need much. We're just tagging it on the end of the uh, clip. And I'm just going to tin those real quick. There's a little raised guide uh, notch in there that slides into this notch on the button end that you press. So you just got to make sure you know which way that fits on there. So you've got the wire coming through the hole here. So we're going to want to solder it on to the front here. So the little notch is at the back. And I'll just put a little dollop of solder on the center pad. Don't get it on those side ones because those side ones actually fit inside the top little button here so I can rest my arm and I'm just going to kind of have this coming out. You don't want it straight up because then it'll be bent. I just want it coming out at a slight angle. Holding it nice and still. And we'll just slide that on. So you just have to make sure this little, uh, the metal ears here slide into these little notches in the button top. And once they're in, then you just push it all the way down. Take out any slack. And that's it. Well, just to quickly do the other end. Easy breezy. Four more to go. There we go. 
of 10 minutes to uh, make five of those. And uh, I'm going to make another another five. I should mention this is a 20 gauge wire, or sorry, 18 gauge. These things, they've got a pretty big hole in them. You could certainly go 16 gauge, but you know, you don't need anything that heavy. Um, you know, I think the 18 gauge is even overkill, you know, for the type of current I'm going to be passing through these, which isn't going to be much. So if you've always wanted a set of these little J hooks, you can build them pretty, pretty easy and pretty inexpensively. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.